Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for the Sun of Sagittarius for January 15th through February 15th. If you guys haven't checked out my New Year's readings that I made for you guys, check out the video list. They include a little bit of astrology and um, a little bit of uh, career and finance. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out the video list. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell. I post bi-weekly general readings and monthly love readings for you guys. This is my first time doing love readings, so I hope that you guys enjoy. If I see that you guys enjoy, I will make sure that these videos are longer next time and I will include more oracle cards. But until then, I'm just starting out and I hope that you guys enjoy your um, love readings, okay? So in the recent past, I feel like you might have been worrying about the future with this person that you're thinking about, okay? Maybe they've been keeping you up at night um, and you really had to take hold of yourself and go within. With the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords being here in the Hermit card, the Hermit card, he goes inside for the answers. He really um, stays in touch with himself, okay? Um, he sees things from a different perspective for a while without making any action, um, because he wants to make sure that the next step that he takes is the right one. And I feel like you're worrying about your future with this person, okay? This Nine of Swords being here. They're really on your mind. They wake you up at night. Maybe this connection really makes you feel um, some kind of way that you haven't felt in a really long time and it scares you. Maybe you, you feel a lot of nervousness around this person. You really had to connect yourself and just like, you know, Stay in your own power when you're around them because you were giving up too much power in order to connect with them, okay? Um, or maybe if you are in a relationship, hold on, my dog is barking. I'm going to shut the door. No, Mama, no. I'll be out in a minute. Sorry, Sagittarius. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, this relationship could have been causing you some kind of anxiety, okay? Maybe you felt like there is no future with this person and you had to really go within and um, to see and, you know, kind of unite with yourself in order to um, really know what it was that you wanted, okay? And right now, I feel like you're really shining the light on the darkness with the sun card. The chariot card being here, I just feel like you see this person for how they are and you're ready to move forward. Okay, and you feel like you're able to show yourself 100% to this person and um, you're just hoping that they can move past certain obstacles with you. I feel like this relationship doesn't feel like it's perfect, but it's one that's worth it to you, okay? Um, in the, the future, we have the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Um, this relationship might end up in some kind of heartache, okay? They might stab you in the back. I hate to be the bearer of the bad news, but it's possible. There's different possibilities here, though, so just hear me out. Um, the Eight of Cups here is maybe you're going to be dealing with some kind of fears. And um, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like you might have had people stab you in the back. And it's causing, it's going to cause some kind of damper in your guys' relationship. It's going to kind of push you back a little bit. But this person might, you know, see you through it. Okay, I'm going to get you guys another card because I feel like it's needed in this, in this, um, in this sense. Alrighty. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're going to help you move past it. Okay, so that's good news. They're going to help you move past um, any kind of doubts that you have had, any fears you have had, but I feel like you have to face them in order for this relationship to work. Maybe do some kind of trauma therapy um, because not everybody is the same and sometimes you might feel like they are in certain situations that might be triggering you, but this person is going to have this person is going to have patience with you, or you might be helping somebody as well. This could be vice versa. So if you're in a relationship, um, you know, it may have been a little bit rocky in the past. You had to kind of take a break, go within, um, just like unite with your inner power, but you're shining the light on things and you're able to see things for how they are and you're able to accept each other for how you are and you guys are going to move past and no matter what, you guys are going to move past, but you have to do some work in order to move to clear waters, okay? Because right here is the choppy water in the background, right? He's, he's moving her and her child into clearer waters. So you could be a single parent. This could be somebody that's coming in that's new for you. Okay. 
I'm going to get you guys a love oracle card. If you haven't yet, like my channel, please share. I really want to get these videos out to as many people as I can. I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, yeah, next time will be longer and more extensive. If this is something that you guys like, please let me know in the description box. Hold on. Sorry. Dropped it. This one flew out, though. It says, let go. Sorry, I have the light shining in here. You, I've been doing a lot of readings today, and the light is shifting, and I apologize for that. Let go of the need to control. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so that's something that you're going to be working on. You're going to be working on your need to control things and ha having to know. Um, because I feel like that has been happening lately. You feel like you need to know. The Nine of Swords is the card of anxiety. Anxiety is worrying about the future and how things are going to play out. Okay, but by going internal, connecting into your with your inner power, right, and having that patience, you're able to really open up into being something else. Okay, more accepting, and this is saying that you need to let go of your need for control because it's going to unfold the way that it's supposed to, Sagittarius. Okay, and you have to trust it. And you have to work on moving past old old fears. And um, I feel like you've had a lot of heartache in the past and you're worried and you have your guard up. Um, but it's saying that this is something that you're supposed to be going through right now in your life and just let it unfold naturally. Okay. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck and I will see you guys next time. Bye.